Hi everybody, this is Agnesa from No Sediment and today I'm going to show you seven tips and tricks on how to get the best out of your Coravin wine preservation system. Now this is one wine accessory without which I can no longer imagine my wine life. I got my first Coravin around 10 years ago when it appeared in the market. I actively used it, although I never shied away to express my criticism about it. I often noted to my friends that Coravin bottles stored for months showed some oxidation for my nose. But it wasn't until I broke my first Coravin that I realized what a good product it actually was. It didn't take long for me to buy a new one because it was much cheaper than to keep pouring out those beautiful wines I couldn't finish in one sitting. And it is especially handy for those who just like me study wine and need to open a lot of bottles for tastings. For those of you who also use Coravin, I have prepared seven tips and tricks that can improve overall experience when using this gadget. And if you are considering purchasing one, I will have a link in the description below. But now let's go. At the beginning, I said that Coravind wine bottles stored for months often showed some oxidation for my nose. But that number greatly decreased when I started to use a vintage needle. It is much smaller in the diameter than other needles, which also means it makes smaller sized puncture in the cork. Therefore, it not only takes less time for cork to seal the gap, but also less oxygen will penetrate into the bottle. For those impatient ones, there might be one issue though. Because of the smaller diameter, it takes more time to pour the same amount of wine into the glass. So the vintage needle is more suited for use at home rather than in hip and crowded wine bars. After breaking my first Coravin, I was extra careful with the second one because it's not a cheap gadget to have. I have been using this one for five years now. And since I didn't need a new Coravin, I was also not up to date with the latest developments. I was really happy to find out that Coravin is now suited for wines bottled under the screw cup as well. It is amazing how many great wines are actually bottled under the screw cup. And unfortunately, for a long time, the only way to deal with an open bottle under the screw cup was to use the good old vacuum pump to seal it for later. Recently, I got my hands on the Coravin Timeless 6 model, which comes with screw cups, so I was eager to try. That's simple. Screw cup is something that we can notice easily. However, most wines are covered with a capsule and we might not be sure what material is used for sealing the wine bottle. If it is natural cork, synthetic or Ardia seal, it might be okay. If, however, it is a glass cork, you might end up with broken needle, just like this one. And while we're on the subject, here's an extra tip. I have noticed that some people who use Coravin like to remove the capsule altogether. However, I am not a fan of it. The capsule provides extra barrier between the wine and outer influences. Removing it completely also makes visible possible sediments in the bottle around the cork, thus ruining the aesthetics. Therefore, before the pushing needle in, remove the capsule just as much as necessary to confirm the type of closure. Before using my Coravin, I always do a little test push. First of all, it shows whether or not you have any argon gas left in the system before you do yet another punctuation in the cork. If the capsule was empty, you will need to remove the needle from the cork, change the capsule and make cut into the cork again. Second of all, it also helps to remove any oxygen that has entered the Coravin system while it was unused, thus once again limiting the amount of oxygen that enters the bottle. Rubber bands used for finger cuts might not lead to the nicest looking bottles in your cellar or wine rack, but it definitely helps to keep your bottles underneath and area around it clean. I have noticed that some wines leak after they were used with Coravin. If those bottles later are stored on top of other bottles, chances are great you will have ruined labels. Not so much a problem with white wine, but with red and especially sweet wines, 
quite unpleasant. One option is to use a needle with smaller diameter I mentioned before, but another inexpensive and efficient way is to use rubber bands that you can put on the bottle's neck. If any leakage will be happening, it will capture it, and your wine cellar will be clean and tidy, and bottle labels safe. It is very important to keep your Cotavin clean for two reasons, aesthetics and sanitation. I have noticed many people using Cotavin again and again, but never cleaning it. It is especially easy to notice on light-colored Cotavin systems where connecting parts are first to show stains. Not pretty. This is also the reason why I always suggest to pay a little bit extra and choose a darker colored model, especially if used at bars and restaurants. But even if it is dark, you still need to clean it, more important if you are pouring wines with residual sugar. Sugar sticks to surfaces and can clog the needle, but that's not the worst part because you can clean it with this little tool. Much worse is that sugar also attracts bacteria, and if you don't clean your Cotavin, then you simply keep pouring your lovely wine through a bacteria filter over and over again. I have noticed that fuller wine bottles maintain wine's quality better than the less than half full ones. There might be several reasons why. First, the more you use Cotavin, the more punctuation marks you will make in the cork, thus less effective it will be at keeping the oxygen away. Next, with more wine being extracted from the bottle, the more space there is for oxygen. Yes, I know, we fill the space with argon, but it is inevitable and some oxygen will always penetrate through. Lastly, we are advised to keep the Cotavin bottles horizontally. So the less wine is in the bottle, the more surface area it will have with the gases inside, including oxygen. Therefore, my advice is to keep track on the bottles you have punctuated and don't keep for long those less than half filled bottles. Cotavin is an amazing wine gadget for every wine lover. We all have different sensitivity to wine oxidation, but I am sure that even the most sensitive noses will appreciate what Cotavin has to offer. Let me know in the comments if you have any other Cotavin tips and tricks for me, and what is your experience with this or other wine preservation systems.